This is another pair of blue golds that are breeding at the moment. They're in their box. Uh, they're sitting on some eggs right now. Due to hatch in probably three to four weeks. And they just don't want to come out of their box at the moment. This is a pair of military macaws. Uh, getting ready to go to nest pretty soon. Uh, they come from South America and they make real nice pets. This is a pair of a, a blue and gold and a scarlet macaw which makes Catalina babies. They make real colorful babies. Uh, real nice birds. Beautiful. These come from Central and South America, both. And they live about 75 to 80 years of age. These are mini macaws in this section. We have uh, yellow collards, villager macaws, severe macaws. These come from mostly South America. Uh, the typical breeding time is uh, May, June, July. Uh, this is a pair of villagers right here. These are very rare mini macaws. There's not many of them in the United States. Typically have about three to four eggs a clutch. And the next cage is a pair of yellow collared macaws, South America. They came from Bolivia. We brought these in about 20 years ago and they're still breeding for us. Typical three to four eggs a clutch, twice a year. They make real good pets. Not as big as the blue and golds and scarlets and the large macaws. Uh, we brought these in about 20 some years ago um, from Bolivia. My dad started this business in 1947 and we started importing. Uh, back then we didn't have to quarantine any birds. We used to just bring them in until about 1974. Then we had to start quarantine birds and that stopped in uh, 1987. A lot of the stuff we collected for a long time. This is another pair of blue and golds. They're feeding their babies as we speak. Uh, they're in the nest box. Usually you can tell when they start feeding their babies is that they get food around their beak as you see. Because it's, they're feeding so much and they're regurgitating their food to feed the babies. These are probably about 15 years old right now. This pair here. And they're feeding two to two babies in there at the, as we speak right now. They typically breed May, June, July, and then they'll stop two to three clutches a year. Sometimes you'll have blue and golds and scarlets and the other birds that breed a more than that, but typically the uh, breeding season is, they'll breed about twice a, twice to three times a year. These are greenway macaws. Uh, they come from Central and South America. Uh, in 1980, I brought these in myself when I lived over there for four years exporting. 
and uh, they're breeding as we speak. They're in the nest right now. Uh, they got eggs, and they live around 75 to 80 years old. And it takes time to collect these birds and to put them together. We gotta surgically sex them, make sure they're male and female. And it takes, you know, they could hit it off right away, or it could take years before they start breeding. This is a blue and gold and a green wing macaw pair. They produce harlequins, a lot of red and some blue on the back. They make really good pets. Their personality is uh, like a green wing, and they have a lot of color. Yeah, this is a pair of uh, blue and gold and green wing, and of course we got uh, canopy trees all around the property here of long grains to give them shade and to try to get them in their own environment, which they came from. And a lot of these trees are overgrown to uh, make them feel like at home. And they really love the uh, setting here. They, they're beautiful out here. These are Alexandra ringnecks. Uh, this is a. These are adults that we breed and they make really good pets and they talk very well. They live around 40 years roughly and uh, they make good pets. They breed twice a year. They usually have three to four babies in one clutch. The males will get a ring around their neck and the females do not have a ring around their neck. Now these are Indian ringnecks. They come in all different colors, as you see. White, blue, yellow, gray. Uh, there's many various colors in these Indian ringnecks. And they breed early February, and they'll stop breeding at the end of May. They usually produce anywhere from five to six babies a clutch, sometimes more. And they're, yeah, as you see, most of them are going in the box still, so they're still breeding as we speak in May. This is our Amazon section, which we have about 25 different varieties of Amazons. This is a pair of yellow napes uh, that come from Honduras that breed very well for us. We have also blue fronts, double yellow heads, yellow crowns. This is a pair of Blue Front Amazons, which come from South America. It's one of the 30 pair of birds that we have that are Amazons here, different species. And they typically breed February, March, April, May. Usually two, sometimes three clutches a year. This is your orange wing Amazon, which comes from South America. So these birds here produce all on my farm 
Usually we have a good tropical climate down here, a lot of rain. Uh, here, California and Texas is probably the top three places to breed exotic birds. Uh, mostly up north, they got to breed, put them inside, which the feathering, dust, and everything else they got to deal with if they breed inside. These these birds at least get sun, get rain, are out in the open. And this is a pair of dub yellow heads with a lot of color. These come from Mexico. Very beautiful and they make really good pets and very good talkers. This is a pair of lilac crowned Amazons. They're a little smaller Amazon than the yellow napes W yellow heads. It's pretty much the same size uh, as a redhead, a little smaller. They make real nice pets and a lot of color. Red in the front, blue on the back of the head and part of the neck. Make very good talkers, very nice birds, very good pets. This is a lorry section. We have about 15, 20 pairs of lorries in this section. Uh, these are the Blue Mountain Lorry, which are very colorful, make really good pets. They're on a nectar diet. We feed them fruits, vegetables. Zupreme pellets with Zupreme powder. And they do very well. They breed a lot of them. They have a lot of babies. Usually two eggs per clutch. Could be as many five, five times a year they breed. Up to five times a year. Come here. These are a pair of black cap lorries, which are very good producers. They make really good pets. They're like little clowns. Uh, they like this is a pair that we produce here. Uh, we held back for future breeders, and uh, this is the male, the closest one to me. And when I get close to him, he just he loves to breed. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, Come here. Come here. Come here. This is a pair of rainbow lorikeets. They make very good pets. They're on a nectar diet, fruits, vegetables. Very pretty birds. Okay, this section here are our conures. We have probably about 30 different varieties of conures. Um, this pair right here is a, called a cherry-headed conure. It has a lot of red on top of the head of the bird and a little bit of red on the wings. Very difficult to breed. And then a very nice pet. This is a pair of white-eyed conures from South America. They breed very good, make very nice pets. 
typical breeding season for these birds are May, June, July. Usually, if you're lucky, you'll have two clutches, usually one. This is the Blue Crown Conyers. They make very nice pets, real good talking birds. This is the same one they had on Polybird years ago. They usually produce two times, sometimes three times a year. They make real nice pets. These are sun conures. It's probably the number one selling conure in the United States. They make real good pets. Very pretty. This is a pair of gold cap conures. They make really good pets. Everybody's very desir desirable conures, the gold cap conures. Tentacle parrots. These are from Africa. They're excellent, excellent talkers and make real good pets. Very personable birds. These are tentacle parrots from Africa. This section we're going to have about five different species of pionas. We have the blue heads, we have the dusky pionas, we also have the white crown pionas, we have the maximilian pionas, and the bronze wing pionas. These, in this cage right here, are the dusky pionas. And these over here are the bluehead pionis. They come from Central and South America. These are your bronze wing pionis, which all the pionis make very nice pets, very quiet birds. Very sweet, very lovable birds. This is a pair of Maximilian Pionis. And they get kind of like a bluish tint in the front of the neck area. Real white eyes. Make very good pets. These are white crowned Pionis. They get uh, white on top of their head, a little bluish tint in their chest area and neck area and face area, a little white on the tip of their wings, and they make very nice pets. This is a colony of canary wing babies. As you see, they're in a colony. I feel that uh, they produce better from us being in a colony that individuals kept. 
two to a cage, and they um, do very well for us. We produce many babies this year, and they feel pre-flighted, and they can pick their mate as they choose, and they do very good. And these, we have a colony. They do very good in the colony for us here. This section, we have all our green cheek sections. This is uh, a pair of green cheeks. Normal green cheek conures. This is a yellow sided green cheek conure on the perch in the back with a normal green cheek conure. Yellow, as you see, is on the sides of the chest area and a lot of little color in the neck area. This is called the yellow sided green cheek. This is a pair of rose breasted cockatoos, also called the Gallus cockatoo. Um, these are very good producers and they make very nice pets and they get a lot of color to them. They get a lot of red, reddish tint to their chest all the way up to their neck area. And gray in the back and their crest is kind of like a reddish color as, they, as it goes up. This is a pair of umbrella cockatoos. Very good producing birds. Cockatoos, the umbrellas produce a lot better than most other cockatoos. Very pretty, makes very nice pets. This is a pair of blue-eyed triton cockatoos. They get the yellow crest, a little larger than your medium sulfur crested cockatoo. And as you see, they have a blue ring around the eye. This is a pair of citron crested cockatoos. These have the orange on the top of their head. And this is about the same, this is a full adult bird. They don't get, uh, they get about the same size as lesser sulfur crested cockatoo slightly bigger and they have a big orange crest that comes out as you can see this is a pair of medium sulfur crested cockatoos as you can see they have a yellowish crest to their head they're smaller than the triton cockatoos that you saw earlier beautiful birds make very nice pets These are your goffin cockatoos. They're one of the smallest cockatoo that there is. They usually breed February, March, April, sometimes into May. And then the season ends for them. They make super 
Nice pets, very small. They have a little crest that comes up that's white. Not like the umbrella cockatoos that have a white crest, but it comes up giant. This is just a little crest. As you can see on the top one, the male's got his crest up right now.